Hello everyone, welcome to DevWave Diaries. If you're passionate about tech and eager to learn, you've come to the right place. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this Glassmorphism login form. To create this form, we are going to use HTML, CSS, and a little bit of GSAP, which is a JavaScript library. First, let's visit the CDN.js website to get the GSAP CDN. I will share the link in the description of this video. After that, copy the first CDN, then paste it before the normal script tag in your HTML. Now, let's create a div tag with the class container. Inside this tag, create a div with the class color. Then, copy this color div two more times using Shift plus Alt and the down arrow key. After that, create a div with the class form container. Inside it, create an h1 tag and write login form. Then, create a form, and inside the form, create an input field. Copy and paste the input field one more time. Next, for the first input field, add a placeholder text email. This will display as a hint for users to enter their email. Additionally, set the required attribute so that users must fill it in before submitting the form. Turn off autocomplete by setting autocomplete to off. For the second input field, do the same steps, but this time, set the placeholder to password. And just like before, it's required and has autocomplete turned off. Now, create a button with the ID submit and for the button text write it login. For now, this is all the HTML code we need. Now, let's move on to the CSS. First, let's add the CSS boilerplate code. We will set the margin to zero and the padding to zero to remove any default spacing around elements. Next, we'll use the box sizing border box, which ensures that the width and height of elements include padding and borders. Finally, we'll set the font family to sans serif for a clean, modern look across our text elements. Next, let's add styles to the HTML and body elements. Set the width to 100%, the height to 100%, and set overflow to hidden. This will ensure that our layout takes up the entire viewport and prevents any scrolling. Now, let's add styles to the container div. Set the width to 100%, the height to 100vh, and use display flex to create a flexible layout. Set justify content to center to align items horizontally, and align items to center to align them vertically. This will center all the content within the container. Now, let's add styles to the color div element. Set its position to absolute. This allows the color div to be positioned exactly where we want within the container. Now, select the first color div using the selector, dot color, nth child, 1. Set the top to 2 rem, the width to 30 rem, and the height to 15 rem. Now, open the website using Live Server. You will see the login form text and some input fields in the middle of the website. Next, add a background color of hash bf4 add 4 to the first color div. This will set the color to a bright, vibrant purple. Now, open the browser, and you will see a purple box at the top side of the website. Next, copy the styles of the first color div two more times. Then, change, dot color, nth child, 1, to nth child, 2. Change the top to left 12 rem, change height to 20 rem, and the background color to hash ffa500, which which is a bright orange. After that, change the next, dot color, nth child, 1, to nth, child, 3. Then change the top to write 10 rem, change height to 20 rem, and the background color to hash 2b67f3, which is a bright blue. Now, open the browser, and you will see three color divs, each with a different color. Next, add a bottom of 2 rem, to both the second and third color divs. This adjustment will position these two divs towards the bottom side of the website. Now, open the browser, and you will see the final position of the three divs on the website. Next, add a filter property with a value of blur, 150px, to the color divs. This will create a blurred effect on the divs, making them appear softer and less defined. Let's comment out this style for now to understand the other code properly. Next, we will add styles to the form container div. Set its width to 25 rem and its height to 25 rem, then add a border of 2 pixels solid black, which will give the form a defined edge and make it stand out against the background. Now, open the browser, and you will see the form container div is positioned below the color div. Next, we will add position. 
relative and z-index of 2 to the form container div. This will ensures that form container div appear above other elements. After that, let's add a border radius of 10 pixels to give it rounded corners. Add padding of 2 rem on the top and bottom, and 1 rem on the sides to create space between the content and the border. Set the display to flex, and align items to center, to align the items within the div. Finally, set flex direction to column to stack the child elements vertically. Now, let's change the border of the form container div to a 1 pixel solid line with a color of hash 6f80, which gives a semi-transparent white appearance. Set the background to hash 6f1a for a light, translucent effect. Add a box shadow of 025px45px with a color of hash 601a to create a subtle shadow effect, giving depth to the element. Finally, apply a backdrop filter with a blur of 5 pixels to enhance the glassmorphism effect, making the background appear blurred. Open the browser, and you will see the form container div with a beautiful glassmorphism effect. Next, let's style the h1 tag inside the form container. Set the font size to 1.6 rem, and the font weight to 600 for a bold appearance. Use white for the text color to ensure it stands out against the background. Finally, add padding of 0.5 rem on the top and bottom, and 1 rem on the sides to create some space around the text. Open the browser, and you will see the text centered inside the form. Now, let's change the align item center to start. You will see, the text is now set to the left side of the form. Now, let's add styles to the form element inside the form container. Set the padding to 2 rem on the top and bottom and 1 rem on the sides to create space within the form. Set the width and height to 100% to fill the container, and use a border of 2 pixels solid white for visibility. Next, set the display to flex to enable flexbox layout, justify content to center to horizontally align items, and align items to center to vertically center them. Finally, use flex direction column to stack the items vertically and add a gap of 1 rem between them. Now, open the browser, and you will see that the form is positioned in the middle of the screen. The input fields are also centered within the form, creating a clean and organized layout. Next, let's add styles to the input elements inside the form. Set the width to 100% to make the input span the full width of the form. Add padding of 0.75 rem and 1 rem on the sides for comfortable spacing. Set the font size to 1 rem for readability, and change the text color to white. Finally, give the input fields a border radius of 30 pixels for rounded corners. Now, open the browser, and you will see that the input fields are styled properly. Next, set the outline to none to remove outline when the input fields are focused. Then, set the background color to a semi-transparent white using the hex code hash 6f33, giving it a light and elegant appearance. After that, copy the box shadow and border properties from the form container div and apply them to the input fields for a consistent design. Now, open the browser, and you will see that the input fields have become transparent, blending smoothly with the background. Now, remove the comment from the container div to reapply the filter, blur, 150px, effect to the color divs. Open the browser, and you will now see the glassmorphism effect applied to the login form, with a blurred background and transparent input fields, creating a sleek, modern look. We also need to change the password input field type to password. Now, let's add style to the submit button. Set the width to 100%. Set padding of 0.75 rem to add space inside the button, add font size 1.1 rem and font weight of 600 make the text stand out. Add a color hash 5f5c5c which gives the text a soft gray tone, and a border radius of 20px rounds the edges, making the button look smoother. Finally, set the white background keeps it simple, and remove the border using border none. Next, open the browser and you'll see the login button styled properly with rounded edges. Next, we'll add a cursor pointer to the button, and also apply a smooth transition of 0.5 seconds to any changes, making the interaction feel more fluid.
Now, let's add a hover effect for the button using hashtag submit hover selector. Then add transform scale 1.05 to slightly increase the size of the button when it is hovered, making it appear larger and more engaging. After that, let's remove the border from the form element to give it a cleaner, more modern look. Now, as you can see most of the part of the form is complete. Both the input field and the button are working properly. After that, let's move back to the HTML. Below the login button, create a div with the class form box. Inside this div, add a p tag and write forget password. Then, add an a tag inside the p tag and write click here in it. Add another p tag inside the form box. In this tag, write don't have an account, and then add another a tag inside it with the text sign up. Now, let's add some styles to the form box. We'll set the width to 100% to ensure it spans the full width of its container. Next, we'll add a margin top of 1 rem to create some space between the form box and the elements above it. Finally, we'll change the text color to white to ensure it stands out against the background, enhancing readability. After that, let's add styles to the p tag inside the form box. We'll set the margin bottom to 0.2 rem to create a little space between the paragraphs. Next, let's style the a tag inside the form box. We'll set the text decoration to none to remove the underline, change the color to white for consistency, and set the font weight to 600 to make the text bolder and more noticeable. Now, if you open the browser, you'll see the completed form featuring a beautiful glass effect. The design elements come together nicely, creating an engaging user experience. Next, let's go back to the HTML code. After the color div, add a div with the class box 1. Then, create another div with the class box 2, followed by a third div with the class box 3. These divs will help us structure our layout further. Now, let's add styles to all three divs, box 1, box 2, and box 3. We'll set the position to absolute, with a width 7 rem and height of 7 rem for each div. We'll also add a border radius of 10 pixels for rounded corners, set the z-index to 2 to ensure they appear above the blur background, and finally, we'll give them a background color of yellow. Now, if you open the website, you'll see that all the boxes are positioned at the center of the login form. Now, let's add styles to box 1. First, set the left property to 10%. Next, open the browser and access the inspect window. Select the box 1 element, then go to the CSS panel. Find the left 10% property and use the up arrow key to increase the value. You'll see the box moving. Adjust it to a value you like, for example, I found that setting it to 25% looked good. After that add bottom, and find a proper positin value for bottom. Next, let's set the left and bottom values for box 1. Next, let's add styles to box 2. Set the left value to 35%. Then, open the browser and access the inspect window again. Adjust the left and top values to your liking. For example, I decided to set the left to 35% and the top to 15% for optimal positioning. Now, add both of them to box 2 div. Next, let's style the box 3 div element. Set the right value to 10%. Again, open the browser and access the inspect tab. Select the box 3 element and adjust the right and bottom values to find the best placement. For example, I decided to set the right value to 35% and the bottom value to 15%. Now, set both of them into the box 3 div element. Now, if you open the browser, you'll see that all three boxes are positioned properly with the login form. Next, let's add a z-index of 3 to the box 3 div. This will ensure that it appears above the login form, adding depth to the design. Now, let's remove the yellow background from all three box divs. Then, copy the border, background, and box shadow properties from the form container div and paste them into the styles for the three boxes. This will give them the same glassmorphic appearance as the form, creating a consistent look. Next, open the browser, and you'll see a beautiful login form with a stunning glassmorphic design.
The form and the boxes blend seamlessly, giving the layout a modern and sleek look. Now, let's move on to the JavaScript file. We're going to write some GSAP code to animate the three boxes. First, type GSAP and press dot. You'll notice that VS Code might automatically change it to a different text. To undo that, press Ctrl plus Z. Then, type dot again. Then write to open circular braces. Now, we need to write all the box class names inside double quotes, like this, box 1, box 2, box 3. After that, open a bracket to add the animation properties. Next, add y, 50, duration, 4, repeat, minus 1, and yo-yo, true. y, 50, help to moves the boxes down by 50 pixels. Duration 4, help the animation lasts 4 seconds. Repeat minus 1, help the animation repeats indefinitely. Yo-yo true, help the boxes will move back to their original position after moving down. Now, change Y50 to Y70 to move the boxes down by 70 pixels instead. Now, you will see a beautiful glassmorphic login form with three boxes that are moving up and down, adding an engaging dynamic effect to the design. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all our latest content. Your support helps us create more exciting and valuable videos. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode of DevWave Diaries.